Honeybee, I'm so excited. I know you're on your week-long business trip, but I've got so many plans. I'm going to make our first Halloween together magical. Well, I guess it's not our first Halloween together, but it's the first one where we've been married, which means it's special. So, I've got to pull out all the stops to make it magical. I already said that, didn't I? Shoot. I had this whole plan to subtly allude to the idea that maybe I was a witch. You know, add to the whole spooky vibe. Oh well, that was just fun thing number one out of like 10 million. I've got plenty more planned for you, and it'll all be ready on the day you get home. I already miss you, honey. I love you so much. I'm not getting to hear your voice is torture. I've been practically smothering the dog with cuddle and pet since I don't have you to dump my love on. I'll be honest, I think she's starting to get sick of me. So maybe rush home? If not for my sake, then to save her cute little snoot from being boobed every second of the day. Oh, and I know you probably won't get any of my voicemails until you're back at the airport. In hindsight, that means that using the dog as emotional bait was pretty useless, so... Whoops. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get started. I've got so much to do, and not all of it is Halloween stuff, so I need to keep pace. Talk to you soon, honeybee. Day two of unchecked power and snuggles. I bought candles. Like, so many candles. I started with a variety pack, but I'll admit, I got a little carried away. I lit most of them, and played with the fire. Bought more, burned them, got some new scented ones, tried to see if I could make a new smell, bought a kit to make candles, messed that up. They exploded. Like, literally exploded. I got scented candles to cover the explosion smell. I was gifted candles from the candle store for buying so many candles. And then, I bought the Halloween-themed candles. You know... I'm realizing that I probably shouldn't have admitted to my candle-based crimes against humanity. <laughs> hey, honeybee. I've told you how much I love you, haven't I? And when we got married, we promised to stick with each other through thick and thin? So, you won't turn me in for being a pyro, right? Yeah, you probably won't. It's fine. And I'm really good with candles now. I don't know exactly what that means, but... Wait, is something burning? Oh my god, I think I left a candle lit. Gotta go! Hey, honeybee. Day three of annoying the dog, lighting fires, and maintaining spooky vibes. I went and got all the non-unique Halloween stuff today. On decorations, streamers, plastic utensils, you know, everything you need to look like a suburban haunted house. I bought candy too. The supermarket had a bunch of jumble bags for $10 a pop. I bought a bunch and sorted through everything. I got my favorites, your favorites, the king size stuff, the trick or treat fodder, and the terrible candy all in different piles. I'm thinking. We take our favorites, squirrel away the king-size stuff for post-Halloween sugar reserves, then we give the just-okay candy to the kids and the terrible stuff to any kid who made a really low-effort costume. I'm talking those sheets with holes in them. I can't stand those kids. Wait, is it incredibly petty to judge children's costumes? Nah, I think I'm on the right side of history with this one. But I guess you can tell me when you get home. I'm really missing you, honeybee. But I'm counting down the days. And until then, the candles can keep me company. Now I've got to go. I haven't seen the dog in a while, and I think she was eyeing the candy stash. Day four of almost lighting the dog on fire. I think I'm starting to go stir-crazy. 
<laughs> Wait, that joke doesn't make any sense if you can't see the cauldron, does it? My costume came today. That's the news I was teeing up with my joke. Remember when the plan was to convince you that I was actually magic? Well, I had pulled out a ton of stops. My costume, a cauldron, potions. Oh, and a little witch hat for the dog, so she'd be my familiar. I guess since we already messed up the whole bit, I can just tell you the fun part. This costume is a little... lewd. The plan was to make you think that I, the evil witch, was putting a spell on you, my darling mortal, so that we could be together forever. I had a bunch of little Easter eggs for the love potion I was making, and a fake diary for you to find and everything. You know, when I say it all out loud, I realize I put a lot of effort into this. I probably should have just deleted the first voicemail so I could still do the whole charade. Eh, maybe we can just roleplay it when you get here. Oh, my first thought. The little game ends with me cursing you to be with me forever. You drink the potion, I kiss you, and then we get to have some fun, sexy, no-clothes time to complete the ritual. The costume is semi-erotic to get you in the mood before we start. It took forever to ship, but it was so worth the wait. I look amazing in this. It's the perfect combo of exposed skin and black leather. I can't wait for you to see it. I actually just can't wait to see you, period. I can't believe how much I miss you. The candles don't even fill the void in my heart anymore. That's actually not true. I wanted to be all romantic, but I love candles. A lot. They totally make me feel better. But I can't kiss them. So hurry up and come home. Day 5 of Evil Cackling and Hiding the Candy from the Dog. By my count, you'll be here tomorrow. So, I put the finishing touches on everything. I bought two pumpkins. Big ones. And they're that perfect shade of orange. You know the one I'm talking about. I'm thinking I want to do a generic spooky face in mine. I saw a video where someone carved little notches inside the pumpkin so you could put more than one candle inside. So, I definitely want to do that. Then I think I'll open a little window in the back so I can watch the flames. I realize I've kind of gone on a fire-centric spiral lately. I promise I don't have any plans to burn anything down. Halloween just brings something out in me. And you cannot look me in the eye and say that fire isn't pretty. But it's not half as great as you, honeybee. I can't wait for you to be back. To see everything I set up. I know we're going to have so much fun together. You, me, the dog, a few thousand candles, and a blanket. Just loving each other, eating sweets, and watching something Halloween-y. I love you, my little pumpkin. See you soon.